right so let's tackle uh, breastfeeding in public something that can really help with this is let's take away the word breast we're just feeding our baby in public and that's all you're doing if you fed your baby by a bottle in public you wouldn't be worried about this in any way shape or form and you are simply feeding your baby and that is what you were doing uh, by giving baby your breast while out in public and it is totally natural we make our milk to feed our baby so you are literally just feeding your baby now it is in the press that you know a woman got a a, a tablecloth float thrown over her at Claridge's you know because she was breastfeeding but <clears throat> the only reason why it's newsworthy is because it doesn't happen that often I am around a lot of breastfeeding women who, who I have supported and I have actually only heard a very odd occasion of a, a mother meeting resistance about her actually feeding. I have heard many, many, many amazing stories of people coming up to you and encouraging you, you know, and saying, that's amazing what you're doing and it's lovely to see. So please, if, you know, if you, you're struggling with the thought of feeding out in public, which is really understandable because of things we do here in the press. You know, we think it is very, very commonplace. Sadly, there are those people out there that anything you do, not just breastfeeding, you could be mowing your lawn, you're washing your car, someone would have something to say about it. You know, that you're not doing it right or, you know, or that's not the place to do it, you know. So the, everything we do, there will be someone out there who doesn't like what you are doing. And sadly, obviously, there are some people out there who think this about breastfeeding as well. But generally, people are very welcoming of it and they don't really know what you're doing. Your baby's just being there, nice and quiet, having a feed and nobody can see anything because your baby's head's there. And so people don't even know what you're actually doing. We don't all stand there, wail our fans up in the air and go, woohoo, look at me, I'm breastfeeding my baby. We just sit there and we want to just sit there and be left alone feeding our babies anyway. Remember, it is against the law to move anyone on for the reason of breastfeeding. So you have the law on your side too. Again, I understand why it can be hard for some people, maybe your ethnic origin, or perhaps, uh, you know, it may be a bit harder for you to be feeding in public. So there are a couple of little things that I can suggest is that you can tie a muslin cloth to your bra. Um, so it's just draping over, it's handy for mopping up sick and all sorts, but you can drape it over your arm and just prepare yourself a little bit and then bring your baby to the breast. Now the muslin cloth is not smothering your baby in any way, shape or form, but it can just give you that bit of time um, and, and can just help you a little bit if you are that little bit shy about doing this. Once baby started feeding, you can move that muslin cloth away. If you're out and about, please never ever take yourself off to a toilet. You wouldn't eat your sandwich in a toilet. So why know should we make our babies feed um in a toilet and definitely you yourself you should never ever think you need to take yourself off to a toilet to uh, feed your baby so what we um what i would suggest you know if you again if you're shy and you're sat in a cafe perhaps you know just turn your chair around so that you've not got a lot of people looking at you um and you know that can just help again you know take yourself away from the the situation a little perhaps if that's what helps you um just ease yourself into feeding out in public once we have first fed our babies you know once we first had our babies 
um, then practice at home. Okay, I think, what would I do, um, you know, while out and about? Because it can be, you know, a bit awkward at first. So just practice at home. Go to breastfeeding support groups. So there are other mums there doing the same thing. This can just naturally build your confidence in the transition to actually then going and feeding your baby wherever you wish. And remember, that's all you're doing. You are feeding your baby and be very, very proud of that. And um, as I say, the, the thing of, you know, people disliking it isn't really um, out there that much. Uh, be proud and you need any support. You just ask for it. Thank you. Bye.